this video we're going to look at the magnetic fields in a solenoid. Now a solenoid basically is a coil of wire. We've got a coil of wire going through a perspex loop. Surrounding this coil of wire we've then got um, some compasses all pointing in the same direction. That's linked to an electric current so I'll switch it on and you can see that the needles change. We go from right to left as we go through the solenoid, below we go from left to right and above we go from left to right backtracking so we go from north to south, south to north. Okay so what happens now if I change the flow of the current? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the terminals of the uh, flowing through the solenoid. Notice that my compass needles have gone back to their original position. Remember with a, um, a solenoid or a magnet it always flows from north to south. Okay so I'll just put my uh, my leads on. Okay, and just I'm just going to straighten it up. Now we went from right to left, from south to north, and then we went around back from left to right. Now you can see now that the needles have changed as so I turn it on, so it goes in the opposite direction, left to right, and right to left. Okay, now what happens if I put an iron core through the coil? Okay, so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn the uh, electricity off. I'm going to get rid of those front two um, compass needles. I'm going to put an iron rod through the middle of them. Now I've switched the current on and you can see instantly that the iron rod really enhances the magnetic field. So I actually increase the effect of the magnetic field by placing the iron rod through the solenoid. This is the formation of an electromagnet. Okay, well I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.